World War II, a divergence in the American-Belgian draft horses and the Belgian Brabant draft horses occurred because up until around the mid-1900s, the American-Belgian and the Belgian Brabant were more or less the same horse. But during the 1940s, breeders from Belgium and the Netherlands bred the Belgian Brabants to be thicker, while in the United States, the American Belgians were bred taller, lighter, and with less feathering. In the past, many people were associating the name Belgian with the style that the American Belgian horses had. That is why the term Belgian Brabant came about, to distinguish the Belgians in Europe from the American Belgian. Nowadays, the Belgian Brabant is simply called the Brabant. There was a period of time when the Belgian Draft Horse Corporation of America accepted the imports of these Belgian Brabant Draft Horses into their registry. But in early 2000s, they no longer accepted the Belgian Brabant imports. Now this is how the American Brabant Association formed, by recognizing the need to promote the older style Belgian, the Belgian Brabant, in the US. Consequently, thus began the American Brabant Association in 1999, and in 2018, American Brabant Association founded their own registry which welcomed imports for breeding. This new breed is called the Brabants. In farming and in the war, the draft horses were vital. They performed a multitude of agricultural and war duties, such as pulling heavy loads, plowing fields, and pulling military wagons. Their horsepower was indispensable. Even during the 20th century, these heavily muscled powerhouses were still used for work. But with the Second World War, their numbers dropped severely due to the expansion of machinery. The breed became rare by the end of the 20th century. Since then, the Brabant's numbers have been rising, but are still less popular in Europe, despite their American brother being the most abundant draft horse breed in the United States. Said to be ideal for small-scale farmers, the American Brabant are unique in that they are willing workers with gentle character. They have quiet dispositions despite being such massive animals. It is also said that they are easy keepers the American Brabant efficiently converts its feed into flesh, bulk, and muscle. In the winter, their coats are so thick that it keeps the under part of their coat dry. Only the top layer, or outer coat, gets wet. They generally weigh 1,800 to 2,300 pounds, but some can weigh as much as 3,000 pounds making it the heaviest of all of the draft breeds. Now I would like to discuss a chronic disease that the American Brabant horses are prone to. Chronic progressive lymphedema is a disorder that is likely genetic and prevents the lymphatic system from properly functioning, which leads to edema of the horse's lower limbs. This disease is progressive and painful. In the early stages of the disease, the feathering on the lower limbs may hide the thickening, crusting, and cracks of the skin. Unfortunately, there is no cure, but trimming the feathers, keeping the area clean and dry, and topical treatments along with daily exercise can help in assisting the flow of the lymph. Regular hoof trimming is required to keep the hooves healthy because horses with CPL often have poor quality hooves. The breeds that are affected by this disease are Frisians, Belgians, Shires, Gypsy Cobs, 
Clydesdales, and the American Brabants. The most common coat color of the American Brabant is Bay Roan. Other common colors are Red Bay, Blue Roan, and Strawberry Roan. Solid Dark Bay and Chestnut are also relatively common. Black and gray occur somewhat more rarely. The height of the American Brabants ranges between 15.2 and 17 hands. They have a square head with straight profile, alert ears, a short, heavily muscled neck, and a powerful, deep, wide chest with very substantial, powerfully muscled legs and back. Their hooves are large and hardy, being round in shape. In conclusion, I would like to say that by sharing this video with your friends and family, you are in fact helping to promote this amazing breed. And if you are interested in supporting the American Brabant horses, please visit the ABA, the American Brabant Association, where you can apply to become a member, register your American Brabant, or purchase some American Brabant merch. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, folks.